to my channel. So today, as you can tell from the caption, it has been two years since I've done a review on my YSL Kate bag and the wallet. And so many of you guys have requested to see how the bag and the wallet are holding up. So I wanted to do a two year later how they are holding up because the wallet is my everyday wallet and the bag is like the bag that I use every time I'm going out for like a date night or a nice dinner or something like that. Um, so I have used them a lot in the past two years, especially the wallet. So I wanted to show you guys how they're holding up in case you guys are still interested in purchasing them. I'm still getting comments on that video um, all of the time. So I just wanted to share with you guys because they both are still on the YSL website. They're both still great classic pieces that go with pretty much everything. Um, so yeah, let's get into this review two years later. Okay, so the first item that I am going to get into is the wallet and it is called the Monogram, Monogram Zippered Two-Part Wallet and Quilted Grain. Um, on the website, it is $475. Um, if you guys have watched my previous video, which I'm going to link up here, I purchased both of mine in London. So um, this was two years ago and I feel like I got a great deal because you get your VAT back over in Europe. So if you actually, I know prices have gone up for luxury items. So not sure what the conversion rate will be if you are over there and purchase over there now. Two years ago, I definitely feel like I got a discount. Um, so I just want to share with you guys now what these items look like. So here is the wallet. It is in black leather and mine has the gold logo and it is the two part wallet. Um, I actually just had to update the video from two years ago because I actually didn't have this exact one linked. They have like a trifold one and then they have one that has the zip around. So I just added this one as well. Let me put this down a smidge. Okay. Um, so yes, two part and I left everything in for right now so you can see how it is wearing. So as you could tell, I wear this, I have this as my everyday wallet. It has kept very, very nicely, I think. Still looks great to me. I'm gonna do like a cutaway so you guys could see it as well, but it looks awesome. Um, just make sure you can't see any of like my cards, but this is what it looks like inside. It has um, compartments here and here, which I keep stuff in. This is the change purse which somebody did comment like oh it's kind of hard to get change out it is it's a smaller wallet um it's not large by any means but for me to just like grab and go or throw in any purse it's awesome here is like the money section i don't have any money in there it holds how many cards one two three four so eight on each side but i have stuffed like my insurance cards that are skinnier so um, I'm going to take them all out for you guys so you can see what it looks like without the cards. I think that it's held up really, really great. Again, I use it as my everyday wallet. So yeah, there's like a little bit of like, um, not, not even wear, it's just, you know, shaped differently now since I wear it every day. But like, I think it looks really good, guys. I don't see any scratches it hasn't like chipped in any areas as you could tell it's still in amazing shape the name is still on there very nicely um i have nothing but amazing things to say about this i highly recommend it still to this day two years later um it's just a great wallet and it fits in a lot of bags so somebody said oh can you show it in another bag so like I mean, I carry around my Louis Vuitton Neverfull as like a diaper bag and I have the insert, a tote savvy insert in there for the baby's diapers and stuff. So obviously I can fit this in there. Sometimes I'll wear this um, Radley London backpack. Obviously it fits in there. Um, and then let me show you guys the Kate purse two years later. So let me tell you exactly the name. So it is the Kate Medium in Grain du Poudre. 
embossed leather. I'm trying to speak French just for my mother's sake so she doesn't kill me for not trying to pronounce it. So this is the Kate bag. Again, it has held up so well. So I do keep it in the um, the dust bag that it comes in every time that I take it off. It is not my everyday purse by any means. It comes with the gold chain. This is the back. Like guys, perfect condition. I have like a little white thing there. Perfect condition. I think because it's this like embossed leather, it's very hard to scratch. Let me show you the inside. Literally looks perfect. I have, what is this? It comes with like a little cloth wipe in here so you can wipe the purse down, but literally no scratches. It has held up so, so well. You can wear it crossbody. Um, you could tuck in the um, chain and wear it as a clutch. I will like sometimes just wear it like this. I actually have on pajama pants, so I'm not gonna show you a full view. I just got dressed up from the top. Um, but look, like obviously the wallet fits perfectly in here, as you can tell. And so I can fit my phone in here. I can fit like a lip gloss. Um, I feel like that's kind of like the only things that I would bring. My keys. So I would fit my keys, my cell phone, and like a lip gloss in here if I'm going out. Because this is like my date night purse or again like a nice dinner if I'm wearing a nice outfit. I don't wear the purse as frequently as I use the wallet. But they both get use out of them. Um, I'll shoot pictures with the purse. It's just an awesome purse. Like I would definitely consider getting it in another color. They have it in the um, the dark beige, which is really, really pretty. Um, this bag is $1,990, which I think is pretty affordable for a designer bag. And again, it has held up two years later and it is in perfect condition, guys. Like, I can't say that enough. It is not heavy. The chain is easy. It doesn't get my hair stuck in it, which is a huge thing because I had uh, a Rebecca Minkoff bag. If you guys remember, it's the black with the gold chain and it has like the lock on it. My hair was getting caught in that chain all the time and it bothers me so much. And I still have the bag because it's a cute bag, but... I, I had to stop wearing it because my hair was always getting caught in it. That does not happen with this one. Um, I love this bag. Again, still keep it in the tote to keep it nice when I put it away. Um, the wallet, I wear it all the time. Someone asked, can a passport fit in this? No, a passport cannot fit in this. Just like your cards, your money, a little bit of change. Um, let me see if anybody else. Somebody asked, can you do an update on it? Do you like this better than the trifold? I don't have the trifold. I just have this one, so I can't compare it. Um, how many, can you do a video on how much, how much coins fit in there? So I feel like the less like money and cards you have, the more coins you can fit in, but it is a little bit hard to fit in, but like, oops, like I have a decent amount in there. I feel like you can fit maybe some like eight quarters. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know the exact amount, but like, it doesn't look too puffy. This is the change part. Um, let me see how many coins you can fit in there. How is the wallet keeping up? Do you still recommend it? Yes, I highly recommend this. I think because again, it's the embossed leather. There's like no scratches visible. Yeah, like I have a little bit of a, God only knows what that is from being in my purse all the time, guys. Two years, I wear this every single day. So it, to me, it has held up so nicely. Like you don't see any scratches. I think it's awesome. Um, I did put the right link. Somebody put, you didn't put the right link. So yeah, this is the monogram zippered two part wallet and quilted grain. Um, I'm going to make sure that I add both of those links for you guys. Plus I'll add like the trifold and the one that has the zip around for you guys, just in case you want a few different options. Um, but this embossed grain leather, I think is what has really made it hold up. And as you can tell, like embossed grain, so you could see that it has these like ridges. It's not like a flat leather. So love it. Highly recommend it. I just want to make sure um, when you purchase the items abroad, do you recommend using cash or card to get your VAT back? Not sure if it matters. Um, I'm not 100% sure. I used a card. Um, is it hard to get the coins from the compartment? It can be because I fit 
like 10 cards in there. So obviously the more that you stuff in here, the harder it's gonna be to get the change out. But the less you stuff in here, it'll probably be easier. Um, what is your everyday purse? My everyday purse is, um, I have like a diaper bag now <laughs> because I have an 18 month old now. Um, but if I'm running out of the house, I will use this Radley London backpack, which I will link for you guys. Um, I do use my um, Louis Vuitton Neverfull as well. And I have a tote savvy um, uh, organizer in there to put like his diapers and stuff, which I will link those for you as well, just in case any moms out there. Um, someone said they've had the exact bag for three and a half years and it's still holding up really great. Um, I totally agree. Highly recommend both of them. Um, can you do another video of the wallet fitting into other bags? That's what I just showed you. Like this is probably, I mean, maybe it can fit into a smaller bag than this. I don't know if I have a smaller bag than this. I probably do, but that would probably be the only item that you can fit in. But like there's still space in here to fit. I don't have my phone cause I'm filming on it, but like you could see with a, um, what is this? Lipstick. I could fit a lipstick in there. I don't have my keys. Could fit like a pack of gum in here. There's still like a bunch of room. You see, like I could fit my phone in there. I could fit my keys in there. I could probably fit two lipsticks in there and there will still be room. So this definitely like, this is it from the side. It has space in it. Phone, wallet, keys, lip gloss, gum, and you're good. You could still close it. I just wanna make sure I'm answering all of the questions. I think that's it. Um, again, I would highly recommend this. It's a great designer purchase because it holds up so well. It doesn't scratch easily. Um, it doesn't get dirty easily. Like I did have a little bit of like white on here, which it could have been a scuff from the wall. It could have been deodorant and it wiped off. Like it still holds up so, so well guys. Um, so I really recommend this if you're in the market for a designer bag and don't know which one will hold up well? Um, they have it in other colors. So like I said, the dark beige one I think is absolutely gorgeous. I kind of want that. Um, but the wallet is amazing. The purse is amazing. I highly recommend both still to this day, two years later. So I hope this answered all of your questions. If you guys have any other questions, please leave them in the comments down below. Like I said, I'm going to link these items for you guys in the description box so you can purchase them. One of my best designer purchases to date. It gets great wear. It, I know I'm going to have this forever. I can give it to my future children. Um, my sister can wear it out if she wants, like it just holds up so, so well. It's a great purchase for you. If you want like a nice luxury item to wear out on date night, to go out to nice dinners, you can double it as a clutch, wear it with a chain in your hand, wear it as a crossbody, wear it over your shoulder, like very versatile. The wallet, it can be your everyday wallet like it is for me. So any questions that you have in the comments that I forgot to answer, let me know down below. Please like and subscribe to my channel. I would love for you guys to join my family here. If you're not following me on Instagram, I post pretty much daily on there on my Instagram stories or on my feed. So um, come join me over there at Be Sue Brittany. Um, and yes, I'm so happy that you guys loved the first video two years ago. So I wanted to do a follow-up because I got a question yesterday about it saying, can you do a follow-up? So I just wanted to film this for you guys. Um, thank you so much for joining me again. I love you and I will see you in my next video. Mwah. Be soon.